He is also known as father of scientific management. In the year 1881, he worked as a chief engineer for Midwell Steel Company, USA. But he was started as a worker there in that company. Started as a worker. He studied how tasks were done, various tasks, how we can complete it. From gross root, he was work. He evolved a system based on the task in the timing process. The contribution, we must know the contribution of this scientist, different scientists like Frederick W. Taylor, F. W. Taylor. He is the Taylor advocated dividing the work into small division effort known as elements whatever the work were suppose we have to manufacture any product that total product is divided into elements okay different steps for manufacturing is divided into elements so like these concepts he was introduced the experts were to time these individually use their collective values to determine allowed time for that task. Different experts for different process, they determine the what is the time allowed for that task according to decide the time which is required for that work. Next one is the begin first. He was the first done the motion and time studies and proposed that work of each employee be planned out by management in advance. What is the work? We, what we have the target in industry? Suppose we have to manufacture 10 cars within two days. So how work is distributed? What is the time required to manufacture that car? And according to we have to decide the task. In one day, five car. And evening day, five car. This come under the work of each employee we plan by the management. Each job was have standard time. Each job, number of parts, they are manufacture and assemble. For manufacturing one job, it will require different process. See, one job which was done in second year on that machine, we have to perform different machining process and that required the timing for turning, facing, threading, like this different process are there, it will require a standard time. Determined by the time studies by using the expert. This is all contribution given by the FW Taylor. He was created the efficiency principle. So this is the contribution by the FW Taylor. Similarly, we are going to study the contribution of Gilbert. Gilbert is a scientist, was started work, work along with wife and he done various work, work measurement methods. These uh, couple considered as the founder for the modern motion study technique. They developed the work measurement method. They applied efficiency methods to their home first and they are having 12 children. He also written the book movie Cheaper by Dozen. You can read also. Book is Bells on Their Toes. Written the books also. Other than this research work, they are written this book and movie. Implemented ideas, brick layer trade. They work in that industry, brick industry. He was able to increase the average number of bricks laid from 120 to 350 per worker per hour they have increased three times near about three uh, three times productive more than anyone else the gilberts were responsible for industry recognition of the importance of detailed study of body motion to arrive at the best method performing an operation that would increase the production and reduce operator fatigue.
they develop the technique filming motion for study known as micro motion study by using they taking the films photos during the production and they had done the very wonderful job under this industrial engineering this couple is very well known all over the world under this contribution uh, continue with the gilbert's contribution gilbert's also develop the cycle graphic and chrono cycle graphic what is this analysis what are they develop this analysis is technique for studying motion paths made by an operator operator has to do his work repeatedly how the motion of path made by an operator we can reduce how they develop the cycle graphic method under the cycle graphic method involves fixing small electric light bulb to the finger or part of the body being studied and then photographic photographing the motion while the operator is performing the operation the resulting picture gives a permanent record of the motion or pattern employed can be analyzed for possible improvement so continuously they are taking the videos pictures and how to reduce the path of working by the operator under this cycle graphic method chrono cycle graph is similar to the cycle graph but its electric circuit is interrupted regularly causing a light to flash instead of showing solid lines of the motion pattern the resulting photograph shows short dashes light space in the of proportion to the speed of body motion being photographed consequently with chrono cycle graph it is possible to determine this direction and compute velocity velocity acceleration deacceleration in addition to study of body motion so this is modified to cycle graph the chrono cycle so this is the contribution by the gilbert